Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews here, and I got the Home Note Misting Cooling System. Uh, I got this for my sister to have in the backyard uh, when she's chilling out here with the baby, because um, she doesn't like the heat so much. And I looked into outdoor fans, but they're very expensive to get a good one, and the crappy ones don't look like they're going to get the job done for what I want. So I was like, ah, let me try this first instead and see what's up. Um, like I said, because the outdoor fan with electric and, you know, I, I like I said, I mean, uh, I don't remember the cheapest one I found, but I don't, I don't remember. Um, but anyway, we're going to do an unboxing review and then we're going to install it as well. And you're going to see me install it, use a bunch of fittings, whatever I got to do to get this baby installed. Okay. And that's it. So let's get this thing going and get this thing installed. I will right, get this thing unboxed first. Okay. So I'm going to stand on the side. Sorry. The sun is really bright. And I have this uh, umbrella pole, uh, you know, in the way. Sorry about that, but it's bright everywhere else in the backyard, so I can't really uh, do it anywhere else. All right, so I'll stand over here, so I'm not in the way. But let me show you the box. Uh, that's what it says. Cooling the heat um, is what it says. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, sun umbrella, blah blah blah. That's all the options you could do. Garden patio, um, yeah, stuff like that garden patio lawn it says uh, anything else no free 18 month extended warranty which is kind of cool so all right i'm probably going to pull this in in the winter obviously i would not leave this out in the winter time in new jersey that's not something i would do uh so everything all, all, most of everything in the backyard is either going to be covered or put away uh that you've ever seen in any of my videos just to let you know because um, we have pretty bad uh, winters here, uh, you know, with the weather and stuff, with the elements, a lot of salt from the trucks right across the street. So, it, it, you know, we have a lot of wear and tear. All right, so um, let's get the unboxing. Let's open this up. So first, when we open it up, it comes with um, this big strand. I think it's uh, 70 feet, 75 feet. I'm not even sure. Did it say it on the package? 23 meters so i think that's around what 70 something feet 67 feet i don't know so this is what it looks like that comes in the bag um uh these are the fittings i guess some extra fittings there's a plug in here as well there's some washers and then there's some extra spray heads um if you're not using a uh, filtered water and you're just using hose water, you can expect these uh, spray heads to get clogged, at least in my line of work. Um, when we have regular, we even have filter systems on the, um, you guys can see all that, right? Yeah, you can see all the way up. So, um, how high can you guys see? Oh, pretty high, okay. Um, so, uh, like these probably, I guarantee you, these things will clog up um, after a while um, with the hard water if it's not filtered properly. So, and I doubt you're gonna filter your uh, garden hose water because that would cost a lot of money so you know in efficiency it doesn't really make sense so yeah th this is the little accessory kit that they give you and then they give you uh, some zip ties and also um, some I guess uh, cl clamps uh, not clamps I guess uh, holders with nails in them they give you little uh, whatever they're called um, staples i don't know whatever you want to call it but i got a little tiny little nail in it you could see it's to uh, hold the one uh, quarter inch line i'm not going to use these zip ties because i got uv resistant zip ties on purpose for this so i did do that uh just so they don't crack because i guarantee you these zip ties are not uv resistant and they're going to crack in the sun very quickly all right so this is the instruction manual uh, misting system it's very simple and straightforward as you can see all right so very straightforward um, it seems like it's very easy how to connect it all the other stuff um, and then here's the other side of it all the connections all that other stuff all right um, so that's it so we're gonna uh, install this uh, I'm going to read up on it a little bit off camera, obviously, so I'm not wasting so much time here. So I'm going to pause it, read this up a little bit, start setting up what I'm going to do. And then, uh, we, like I said, we won't really have so much of a wasted time. I am going to open this up. So you, oh, pull it open. Actually, never mind. It's already open. So I am going to open this up so you can see it. 
So it comes with the nozzle here, and this restricts the, uh, I guess, the uh, water pressure right here and makes it enough, um, just enough for the quarter inch and the mister. So that's cool. Um, you could probably soak these uh, in lime away, which is the best solution. Um, if they do get clogged after a while, you can unscrew these and then probably put, uh, just throw them in a plastic cup, a glass cup, whatever cup, I don't care. And then uh, a cup that you can shake because uh, you're going to want to agitate it. You don't just want to just lay them in the um, lime away. You're going to want to agitate it. So if you put them in a cup even with a lid, which is good, every like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't care, whatever, you give it a shake and it'll get all that hard water out of here and it should work perfect. You can also get um, a needle and stick it through there, like a tiny, tiny, um, if you have a... You can't use any any needle that you want. It has to be something this small, otherwise you're going to damage it. It's not going to make sense. So, uh, just to let you know, um, yeah, you got to use a, a certain you know needle size for that. If you're going to use it, that'll help get it out. If you don't have any of that, you can probably use. Um, I would just use vinegar. I would soak it in vinegar for a, a lot longer, shake it up, probably a couple hours, and then get it all out, just like you do with your uh, shower heads at home when they have hard water. All right, so this is zip tied out, so I'm gonna have to, uh, like I said, cut this open and figure out what I'm dealing with, and we're gonna do that in a second. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back of getting this installed for my sister. Okay, see you guys in a bit.